Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Kryptonite, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. And tonight, I have a special guest. As always, I'm going to go ahead and read their bio right now. My guest for the evening is a content creator as well as a streamer. She enjoys creating anime and manga related content in her spare time. She also streams for an organization, Black Girl Gamers, which promotes diversity and inclusion in gaming. I would like to introduce my guest for tonight, Black Whimsy, AKA Whimsy. Welcome to the podcast. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for inviting me. I'm doing well. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I'm so glad that I finally got you on the show. You've been doing big things I've seen, but I'm going to let you explain to me what have, what have you been doing for the last couple months? For the last couple months, I've kind of made a prerogative to make more short form content, kind of. I've been doing a lot of like shorts or Instagram reels or TikToks that like go over about like a minute. So I've been working on that kind of stuff. Nice. And how has uh, TikTok been treating you? TikTok has been the kindest to me, <laughs> um, to be honest. Awesome. Um, I'm always so surprised when I get like a lot of like views or likes because sometimes I feel like who wants to hear this, you know? <laughs> right. But you put it up anyways and then you get pleasantly surprised. That's cool. Yeah. Have you uh, have you had a chance to stream on TikTok yet? I think I did it like once because I have a friend and they do amazing. They get like 1,000 to like 3,000 right. viewers playing like old retro games. Okay. And I was like, let me try. But then I didn't want to do it because <laughs> I'm so <laughs> over streaming at this point in my life. So let's speak on that a little bit. What's what's going on with streaming as far as content goes? So I do not stream on my own channel. Like I used to stream on Twitch like a couple of days a week. Mm -hmm. I I think last year I just stopped. Any reason for the stoppage? I just thought it was an unrealistic expectation for myself. And did I really want to do this? That's like the question like was in my head. Like, do you really want to do this or do you really want to make anime content? And I really want to make anime content. So that's awesome. I'm glad you actually not only had that question and had that conversation with yourself, but actually went through with it because there's a lot of people who are streaming right now who are questioning that same thing. They're like, hey, should I be doing this? Am I really, is this where I want to go as far as my content goes? But they don't have a, a, a backup right there. They're like, oh, I can do this. I mean, I'm glad you were able to find that. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and jump into our first section. What is your current mind state or your current mindset as far as your content you're creating now? My current mindset for the content I'm creating now is to, let me see how I'm going to word this. <laughs> My mindset is pretty positive. I think I'm at like a point where I feel better, like emotionally, mentally, physically. And I feel like, mm -hmm. okay, like this is the time, like I need to like focus and like move forward and all the things I planned, I need to like put into motion. So I kind of feel like the ball is rolling. And that's weird because I feel like for me, the ball rolls for like a while and it gets like a good way. And then I just stop. Yeah. <laughs> and then I go back to it and it rolled all the way back down and now I got to do it again. And like I, I lose momentum very often. That's like my biggest issue, but trying my best. No, that's awesome. Again, you recognize it. So that's one thing. And now you just got to figure out how to not lose momentum. Yeah. <laughs> I recently was able to stream on TikTok and that is a whole nother beast as far as streaming goes. I was I was shocked. There was a number that was up there and I was like, is that real? Like, who's here? Isn't that <laughs> wild? <streaming. laughs> like, you know, I, honestly, if you can get to stream, if streaming is what you want to do, I guess it depends on why you stream. Because on TikTok, you have a, there's a large audience and they're actually talkative. Now, there are some, you got your trolls everywhere and there's a few people there and you can quickly ban them or mute them. But like the people who are like chatting are actually genuinely invested in what you're doing, which I haven't had that in a while. Like outside of your regulars that come to your stream, like new people who are like, what game is this? And I'm like, are you serious? This is Apex Legends. Aww. Oh, you have no idea? And then I get to like geek out about Apex Legends. It was, it's been fun. 
I agree. I really think TikTok is that platform where like you meet people that like are really interested in what you're doing and it's exciting. Yeah. And it keeps you going. It keeps you motivated. Yeah. And they like on paper, they seem to be doing creators, not all creators, but some creators <laughs> better than others. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of opportunities. It's, it's a matter of us just going out there and getting it. So yeah, I, I'm optimistic. I agree. Maybe but you're going to convince me to go stream on TikTok one of these days. I mean, I just like you might like it. And you could the thing is, you could stream about anything. You could just have a pull up and be like, yo, I'm talking about my five favorite this genre of anime and go. And people are going to engage in that. I know. And that's what like people tell me to do. But like, there's always like a part of me that's like, no, that's dumb. No one's going to like really watch that. <laughs> We got to defeat that. Good Lord. I know. I know. <laughs> no, I'm the, I'm the same way. Uh, I've been recently I I've been picking the most random TikToks I can see. And like, I'm going to react to this or I'm going to do something with this and just post it and not look back. Because if I look at it, I'm like, oh, this is stupid. I need to delete this now. But I just I just go for it. Yes. That's where I want to be. This is like where I am right now, because I realize I read a lot of manga in my spare time. I like I watch a lot of anime and then I'm like, you know what? I can literally read the manga on my phone and go on TikTok and be like, oh, my God, this happened and make content out of it. It doesn't always have to be like processed and edited and, you know, right. that whole thing. That's where I'm trying to get trying to get past the it doesn't need to be edited process and look like a certain style. I could just literally talk it to the camera, which coming from YouTube and coming from t uh, Twitch, like that's a weird concept. to me. <laughs> yeah. So why do you think you do that? Why do you think because I'm very self reflective. So why do you think you don't post like that? Honestly, and I've been thinking about this a lot over the last couple of months. And this is going to sound dumb, but this is like the genuine answer is when I see something that I think is, I'm going to say stupid or dumb or lame or something that I don't agree with or something that I wouldn't do, I immediately judge it. And I'm like, no, I would never do that. That's dumb. Now, if other people do it, I'm like, yo, they got some ball. Like, I, I'm proud of them. I'm like, wow, they actually did that. And it's actually worked for them. But when it comes to me, I'm like, nah, that's dumb. I'm not going to do that. And I've just been battling that voice for the last like three, four months. And I'm finally there. That's why I have a podcast. Cause not that having a podcast is dumb, <laughs> but for me, I was like, it's too much work. I'm not going to be able to, nobody's going to listen to it. I just had to finally be like, shut up. If nobody listens to it, at least you can say, Hey, I got 10 episodes up. I know how to edit audio. Now I learned some shit, but here we are. I had to beat that demon down. But yeah, I think it's me judging other people, not outwardly, but inwardly has stopped me from doing a lot of stuff. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, it took a lot of <laughs> a lot of meditation and uh, YouTube. Videos. <laughs> I feel like that's like a big thing. I feel like I had to like, go on like YouTube and look up like why can I make content and like watch people talk about it? I like read like self help books because I was like, there has to be a reason why this is happening. On like whimsy, I kid you not. And my wife will attest to this. This is like 90% of the reason like I change, I'm changing the way I do content. Like, yeah, I'm still going to make <clears throat> ridiculous videos that I think are funny, but I want to actually like get people who are in this mindset of like, why am I not creating content? Or why is this so hard? I want to start having conversations. So you can be like, Hey, you're not the only one. This is how I dealt with it. Or this is how I'm trying to deal with it. So we can actually like start working together and getting over this hump because it's stopping a lot of us from becoming amazing. I agree. Um, my therapist said something to me that like, I always keep in my head. And it was like, when I make assumptions about how other people are feeling, I need to ask myself the question is, how do you know? And basically, you're like, you don't know, until you do it. Oh, I love it. Your therapist is super smart. And I'm glad that that's stuck in your brain, because that needs to be there. Like, how do you know what somebody's thinking about you? And ultimately, I had to get to the point where I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I'm never going to meet half of these people who are leaving troll comments and all that fun stuff. Like, I just don't care. Am I having fun? Yes. Are the people who are enjoying it, enjoying it? 
yes and am i hurting anybody no then i'm gonna keep pushing forward perfect i like that and the um, reason i knew that i was changing was and it's very small and it's very like dumb and kind of superficial i mm -hmm. stopped wearing makeup when i stream I on Saturdays, I stream on Facebook for Black Girl Gamers and yeah. it's early in the morning. And I was like, you know what? Why should I like get cute? Like, why should I like put on a show? I like mm -hmm. games. I want to get on here. I want to do the games I want to do. I want to stream and talk with people. And that's it. That is all. That's that's not small. That is huge because <laughs> that says a lot, especially I'm not saying especially for you, but you know how like it, we view ourselves on stream like there was a point where yeah. I, I accidentally shaved my mustache off and i was like i can't stream i can't make a video i'm not doing anything until this grows back Aww, and uh yeah that's sad it's it, it is but it was kind of funny because i was freaking out over my must like nobody cares about my mustache but i made it this huge thing in my head i'm over that now i think Nah, nah, if I mess up my mustache, we're gonna have a <laughs> we're gonna have to slow things down a bit. <laughs> I get it. And I I honestly feel like that's a problem for content creators is that they feel that they have to present a certain way to make content. And it's with me too, because I was thinking I can just make some like put on my phone and record myself, but I'm like, oh I'm ugly. I don't look great, my hair's not done. And I'm like, do I really wanna like do that? That is, you you know, that is a problem that has to, here's the thing. I don't know if my whole, you know, Vox, Yeah. he sends me the most random TikToks <laughs> and they are, a, I don't want to be mean, but like, typically you would see this and you're like, how is this, this person just put this up, but they're getting millions of views and they yeah. don't care. Like, they're like, this is what I love. This is what I'm doing. Boom. And I'm like. Every once in a while, I'm like, yo, Vox, stop sending me this shit. What's wrong with you? But every once in a while, I'm like, all right, that, you know what? If this person could do this, I can put together a video that I tailored and every shot is on purpose and the audio is great. I can post that. What the fuck is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. We're all going to get over that hump eventually. <laughs> I think every the more conversations we have, the more we start checking in on each other. I think that is just going to happen and like greatness is going to come out of that. So I, I can't wait. Oh. It's gonna happen, damn it. All right. It's gonna happen. <laughs> so let's go to our uh next section of the podcast. Lessons learned. Um okay. in this section, I asked my guests to give me a lesson or lessons that they've learned because they have started to create content. Lessons learned, let me think. Um, a lesson that I learned is kind of around kind of along the lines of don't compare yourself to others, but Mm -hmm. meet yourself where you are because I feel like when I started streaming and I jumped in and I was just like doing whatever I wanted and I was like I have to stream more my twitch views are like okay stream more and I realized like I couldn't do it like I work full time I'm tired I had like family stress going on and I would like beat myself up I'd be like you this is why you're never gonna get big this is why you're never going to like be where you want to be it's because like you can't you're not doing this but then i was like no i'm here i can't do that and i can admit that and i think that's like a lesson learned like to admit where you are and what you can do and like definitely you can push yourself like i'm not saying don't push yourself but be mm -hmm. realistic on with yourself because if you keep putting these like expectations it's just gonna make you feel even worse no, I agree. Being real with yourself and understanding your limits is a huge lesson that people need to learn. A lot of us don't know that. You'll find out quickly. And then we wonder why, like, we're we're burnt out or we're feeling a certain way about our content. Mm -hmm. It's because we're pushing too hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I like that. That's awesome. With that, we're just going to slide into the next section. Words of advice. Okay. Uh, words of advice could be for new people or people who has already been doing it for a while. If you can give them some words of advice, what would you bestow upon them? Okay, so this might be a little personal and it might be for a very specific group of people that are creating content. Okay. And it's don't let your past traumas ruin your current self. 
And I say that, and I know that's like so random and so out of the place for this. <laughs> no, this is perfect. That's my words of advice towards like people because there are so many things that pushed me back. And it was a lot of things I had to unlearn, a lot of things like I had to sit in the mirror and look and be like, you know what? I have to face these inner demons, not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to face mm -hmm. these things before I can move forward and make the content that I want and do the things that I want to do. And I would just tell others like they have to keep going. It's hard. You're not like everyone else. You might not be like everyone else. People have, have like millions of dollars. Some people mm -hmm. come from like good families. Some people have like no stress. Some people don't have to work. And that might not be like your life. And you might think that you, you might think that like you, you're, where you're like less than them, but that's not true. I believe everyone should put their voice out in the world mm -hmm. and it's important for them to just do it. Even if you make content and you just stream for like two times, just do it because you're putting yourself out there. And this goes for, especially for like underrepresented communities. I think that's true. really important because I feel like we're the ones that are like constantly like, no, no one's going to watch us. No one's going to like do that. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, how these social media sites are and they like yes. put our views down. Exactly. Um, I feel like especially in that and in those communities, you need to like make content. I don't know how many times I'm going to talk about my job. I'm a teacher. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> how many times I've mentioned video games to children and they'll get so excited. I brought up the fact that I've been in like an all girls tournament with gaming and like the little girls look at me and they're like, Oh my God. And I just think <laughs> I know like, and I was like, if I didn't do that, they would have never had this conversation and this That's might true. affect them for the rest of this. They might look at that moment and be like, you know what, this is what's going to get me to be where I want to be. That I could not set it any better. <laughs> Whimsy. That's like, this is the perfect spot for this lesson this is uh words of advice because i again i've been thinking about for the longest like there was a point in which i was like you know what i'm gonna stop creating content i'm gonna go find another full-time job and just grind out the rest of these work years but what stopped me is like i really and i'm gonna get cheesy here like i really want to be the type of person that has influence over somebody who's gonna make a massive change in this world like if I could change the world and like make it so everybody gets what they need, everybody's equal and all that fun shit, I would do it, but I can't do that by myself, but I can definitely influence the people around me to be more positive, to actually get out there and voice their opinions. And by doing that, one person touches another person, another one, and who knows where it ends up. But if I never did that, like there's a whole void around me that is just getting, getting lost. And I was like, you know, I can't do that. So here we are pushing forward. Yeah. <laughs> well, Whimsy, I'm glad that <laughs> you figured out what you needed to do to fall into a spot in content where you are happy, you're making content that you're enjoying. And like you said, you are changing lives of people that you're teaching because who knows what conversation might spark up with somebody who's like, I didn't even know I can do this in gaming. And now I know because my teacher did it. Okay, moving forward. Mm-hmm. So keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Since we are here at the end, uh, I like to make all my guests do a call to action. You're probably better than this than most. So what would you like my audience to do in regards to your content? Where do you want to take them? Where do you want them to see? Okay. The floor is yours. I would say TikTok's a really big place. If you do enjoy anime and manga and you want to support me, that's definitely a place that you want to be. I also would say YouTube because I'm making more YouTube videos. Same about anime and manga and different like stories and things like that. I think those are definitely places where you guys can find me and go ahead and reach out to me. I think that's a big thing for me. I um, don't reply to comments because I'm like, oh, they don't care. <laughs> but I've been getting better. So if any of you guys comment on my videos, I will reply. I will like it. I will try to continue the conversation. Nice. I'm winning social 
social anxiety. I'm beating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's it. But if you just want to see, I don't post so regularly on like Instagram or even Twitter, or should I say X? What is it now? I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea. My icon changed and I was like, I don't, I'm lost. I didn't even tweet. So I was like, okay, <laughs> I gotta look at memes. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get my call to action out. If you know any other creators who can get any value from conversations like these and more, please share the podcast with them. Also, if you are subscribed to any of the plethora of podcast engines out there, leave me a review. I would really appreciate it. Again, Whimsy, thank you for doing the podcast. I appreciate it. I'm not going to lie. I've been nervous. Everybody I've asked to do the podcast, I was nervous. Don't ask me why, <laughs> but I was. And everybody said yes. So I was like, all right, I'm done being nervous. I'm just going to start asking everybody. I'm really happy that you invited me. I don't usually get invited to things like this. And I'm always putting myself down, but no, like I don't usually get invited. And when you said like you were going to do it, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. That is awesome. I knew, I knew that you were going to have some good advice because I just know where your headspace is sometimes. And like mm -hmm. seeing you navigate from streaming to TikTok, like it's been really amazing to watch. So keep up the good work. I can't wait to see where your TikTok goes and your YouTube. Yeah. I know with, with the requirements and stuff, I was like, this is the best time. Oh, wait, I'm having like a side conversation, Crip, but they say that this is the best time to get on YouTube because with the wider strike, ain't nobody yeah, watching TV. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I was like, <laughs> well, all right. We hit the end of the show again. Whimsy, thank you for coming on. I appreciate you. Yeah, we are finished. That's it. Protect your mental. Keep creating content and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.